I don't like this. I hate this. I love this. I want this. I don't want this. I, 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 I. खुश रहेंगे. Namaste, world raisers. Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch how to stop expecting from others. A request by Deepak Nopan. Yeah, this is going to be good. This video has over six million views, so so that's fantastic. <laughs> People seeking out this wisdom and these teachings. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right into it. What is the most selfish one-lettered word? Wow, what a audience that is to tell me. Mm, the it. most selfish one-lettered word. I, isn't it? Oh. Everything revolves around I. Everything revolves around the I. And what does I stand for? I stands for expectations. Apekshaye. Meri apekshaye. My expectations. I should be treated like this. I should be loved like this. I should be dealt with like this. I should be respected like this. All expectation. Apekshaon ki jindagi ji rahe hum log sab. We are all living a life of super high expectations. Not just high. We are all leading a life of super high expectations. God. constantly life is only all everything revolves around my opinions my desires my likes my dislikes i like this i don't like this i hate this i love this i want this i don't want this i i i i i khush rahenge you think life will be a very happy life when it revolves around i from our childhood we have grown up like this we've only learned to take and everyone has to fulfill my expectations everything has to be up to my expectations when i was a child i usually wouldn't even eat if my mom did not cook what i asked for <laughs> you know everything has to revolve around my expectation one boy comes to a mother and says mama i love you 5 year old 5 saal ka bachcha mama i love you mother said i love you too beta the guy grew up to be 16 goes to the mother mama i love you kitna paisa chahiye bol he grows up to be 25 mama i love you kon hai kidhar rehti hai bata do hum arrange kar denge bata de he turns to be 40 mama i love you bola tha na shaadi mat kar usse <laughs> It turns sixty, sixty. Mama, I love you. मैं किसी भी पेपर पे साइन नहीं करूँगी तू जा. माँ है ना जानती है. Mother knows. Everything is for me only. Sixteen years old, my money. Twenty-five years old, my girl. Forty years old, my wife. Sixty years old, my property. Life ही ऐसा जिया है. हमेशा अपनी इच्छाएं अपनी अपेक्षाएं अपने ओपिनियंस को पकड़ के बैठे हैं हम लोग एंड यू थिंक रिलीजन इज पेड इफ यंगस्टर्स आर नॉट स्पेड गर्ल फ्रेंड एंड बॉय फ्रेंड आर नॉट स्पेड मैरिड पीपल आर नॉट स्पेड यू थिंक रिलीजियस मैन एंड रिलीजियस पीपल कमिंग टू टेम्पल आर स्पेड फ्रॉम दी आई आई डोंट थिंक सो वेन पीपल कम टू गॉड पीपल कम टू टेम्पल ऑल्सो देर ओनली आस्किंग गिव मी वॉट आई वॉन्ट No one comes to say I love you. I want to. I want to give you. When the president of the United States, John F. Kennedy, came up to stage for his first presidential speech, his voice rumbled into the public address system when he said, "Ask not what the country can do for you. Ask what you can do for the country." <laughs> And so we are saying, "Ask not what God can do for you. Ask what you can do for God." But no one asks that. because the i is so big my expectations my desires my things are so powerful that even when i come to a temple and ring a bell all i'm doing is asking the more we lead a life of i our i will always be frustrated 
because people don't exist in this world to just fulfill your expectations what do you think people are all existing in the world just to fulfill your expectations that's what you think sorry to say <laughs> wait for a while you will learn <laughs> that they don't friends don't family doesn't sab apni apekshaon ko poorn karne ke liye thodi janm liye do not ever ever give the control of how you feel to someone else do not allow anyone to remote control you control your televisions remote controlled no problem your cars can be remote controlled don't allow anyone to control your emotions from there hum log apeksha karte hain ki ek prakar ka vyavhar hamare sath hoga aise nahi hota na frustrate ho jate hain hum therefore ladies and gentlemen the most selfish one lettered word is i which stands for expectations and therefore avoid this word how do you avoid this word be realistic in your expectations apekshaye karne mein koi problem nahi hai but understand that not everyone will fulfill your expectation yaad rakhiye ki sab log aap hi aapki apekshaon ko poorn nahi karenge and secondly avoid this word i by trying to serve others you know why because when you want to be served you're dependent on people they may not serve you when you want to serve who can stop you when you want respect people may not respect you but when you want to give respect who can stop you when you want to be loved you may not be loved but when you want to give love who can stop you and therefore learn to begin your journey from i to you the more you want for yourself you will remain frustrated the more you want to give you will remain happy wow i'm um just so blown away in a way <laughs> by his simple and powerful teachings i um, mm-hmm. this is the third video we watched i loved it very much mm-hmm. i loved it <laughs> so to the point and simple basics mm. it's like basic foundational spiritual teachings yeah so so practical and so needed mm-hmm. even for people who aren't you know seeking enlightenment or yeah. higher spiritual realizations you know this is uh, what the world needs right so mm-hmm. foundationally right so so much frustration is due to that you know expecting everything expecting from the government and the politicians and the healthcare system and everything the educational system so expect expectations we want it to be a certain way right mm-hmm. and then we're frustrated right because yeah it's not meeting our expectations so So I've had a few encounters with, you know, holding expectations for certain things, how they're going to go. Um yeah, tremendously let down and then so gradually get to the point where okay, everything is what it is, you know. Mm-hmm. However something is presented, you know, you know is how it is. So it's more of just an allowing things to be as they are. Don't expect anything from anybody and then you transition like he was saying you know um yeah if you want love you have to be love you have mm-hmm. to give love first right uh you have to give if you want respect you got to be respectful like we need to be kind we need to be caring we need to be compassionate so just yeah, yeah great 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 wisdom yeah. there you know but it must be applied in order to reap the benefits and i love the temple example of uh yeah going to the temple and the church you know and even praying many people just <laughs> pray because they want to get something they're praying to god for you know for healing or money or better relationship or whatever it is when you know who's really wanting to you know serve god mm-hmm. and you know be a mm-hmm. disciple and you know surrender you know my will not my will but your will be done thy will be done right um 
yes, that's something that we need to, you know, understand, right? If we want to not be so frustrated, right? Because, yeah, the expectations will get you. And then the mm. I, right? Yeah, the one word, right? So that's very prominent, obviously, in the yogic tradition and teachings, um, Sanata Dharma, and also in Buddhism, right? When we were talking about, uh, yeah, they, they say it's the, the self-cherishing and self-grasping I, right? That's what it is. So that's mm -hmm. the, the ego-separated individual that's only out for me. And I want what I want. You give me what I want. And the example of the of the son always going to the mom, right? Mm -hmm. And then she she knew he was only saying I love you because he wants something from from her. Um, so yeah, great. And I love the video from uh, mm -hmm. from We Can. So it, was, it looks like a, a motivational uh, channel. So yeah, fantastic. Thank mm -hmm. you for this video. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and a mind full of expectations is a very poor mind. And if you have a poor mind, then you attract poor things and you only see poor things in the world. Like things that, you know, like mm -hmm. poor, like uh, miserable and negative and all that. But if you change that and, you know, you focus about, you know, on cherishing others and understand that this life is not just about you <laughs> but mm -hmm. it is about all of us and then your mind becomes quite rich and mm -hmm. then it will see beauty in this world where before it didn't because it was just so focused on getting what it wants even though you might have never investigated if you know you know what you actually want is so i don't know good, virtuous, and, and in the end, beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so yeah, so kind of lessen the expectations, you know, outside of us and how we want things to be out in the world, you know, and internalize our expectations, you know, <laughs> I want to, I expect myself to become more loving, and yeah. so placing that expectation on, on me, you know, I expect myself to uh, be more compassionate and caring and kind and mm -hmm. think about others and put others, you know, before myself. Mm -hmm. So I would always forgive yeah. and be as kind as I can. And of course, there's going to be hiccups uh, along the journey of the practice. You know, we're so ingrained with our habitual tendencies and delusions. And it's almost, you know, it's part of the, you know, school system and the society of the whole world right now is that, you know, we're taught that we need to have these desires and these expectations mm -hmm. and this drive outward that we want things the way that we want them to be and then we get frustrated and then you know and these this type of mind is mm -hmm. considered normal and that's how it is that's what a human being is but but there's a more advanced way of being so to speak a more pure kind um yeah mm -hmm. compassionate way to be and uh yeah so let's be that let's be that and bring that yeah. into the world so that's what uh me and sabina are trying to do and uh mm -hmm. thank you so much if you are doing it as well yes. the world will be uplifted by every person and being who practices these teachings yeah. so thank you to gar gopal das for yeah, these amazing great. words of wisdom yeah and uh i yeah. want to say something first mm -hmm. um so you know if you feel inspired and if you understand these teachings of you know checking um how much expectations you hold in mind then maybe throughout the next week you can observe your mind with you know every action you do it's like oh is there expectation in the mind or mm -hmm. not and yeah feel free to maybe come back and comment how the week went for you and if you observed yourself and if maybe the judgment or the expectations got less. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not about beating yourself up if you fail or if you have a lot of expectations. That's not the point. Mm. <laughs> the point is to recognize it. Recognize it, understand it, shine your awareness on it and let it just dissolve by itself. Mm. So feel free to, you know, come back and let us know how it went yeah wonderful yeah <laughs> great idea let's all practice together 
so thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video as much as we did, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. Yeah, let us know what you think down in the comments and come back and share. <laughs> and remember, raise yourself. And raise the beautiful world. Thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to all our members. We love you. Peace. Thank you.